Okay, I may have gone a little crazy, you guys, but I got some furls hook, and today we are going to go over what I think about them and kind of unbox them. Now, if you guys have not done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification thingamajig so you guys get notified with all my videos. Now, today I'm going to be going over the Furls crochet hooks. I have a friend's crochet hook that I really like. It's my most, I feel like, ergonomic crochet hook that I have. Um, and I was going to do a video for um, the actual unboxing of these, but unfortunately I just... I got them at night and I was in PJs and I have a clip, but I don't know if I'm going to put it in here because I look really funny. Sorry, I have a zit right here, guys. We all get them. Um, but anyways, so I went ahead and I actually opened the box itself and I've already looked at these, um, but I got three of the resin hooks. If you guys haven't checked out furls, um, I'm going to like put a little screen thing of like their website right here kind of while I talk about this um it was really hard to pick which hooks I wanted to go with and I really probably should have just gotten one to try with but I'm really happy that I got four because honestly guys I love these hooks I don't think that I'll ever be able to use another crochet hook ever in my entire life um real quick I'm going to just kind of show you guys this is my the G hook and um that I got it's really hard to kind of see I guess the colors but um it does kind of have that hook in line whatever it's very pointy right here um and I saw a review on crochet hooks from uh furls from um what was it the spider uh fiber spider and I know that he was not a fan of these, the hooks, and, you know, just mo mostly just because of the tips here. Now, I love the Susan Bates crochet hooks. I absolutely love them, and I want to give you guys a review. I'm going to show you the other ones that I bought as well, um, but I want to show you guys that I made a washcloth using this. This is my G hook, which is my straight 4.0. Now, I did get one more in this color, and I can't remember what color it was. I'm going to put all of it in the description box. Maybe I'll put it up here in the video. Um, that's in this color. I also got a wood one and then I got um, another one that's really pretty that I'm going to show you guys. Um, unfortunately though, like I was, I saw in reviews that they put like this cute little thing on here when they typically put them in the box, but I didn't have that and that's totally fine and it was all wrapped up. Um, really great boxes, really beautiful boxes. I've noticed that a lot of crochet people keep putting them like back in the boxes, but you know, it says, let me out. I don't know, can we, can we get that to focus? Probably not. Um, okay, so that was hook number one. Let's see what's in this one. Uh, here it says, what will yours look like? Question mark. So this is, uh, am, am, Andromeda, that's what it is, Andromeda, that's what I was trying to say earlier. Um, this one I got in a K, so it is a 6.5 millimeter hook. I, I love it, you guys. I mean, honestly, I think that I would go for a whole hook set of this color, um, because it is really, really gorgeous. I've only worked with the other, um, where is it here? And I should probably look it up. I think it, it was one of the Zodiacs. Um, and I really, really love it. So the thing that I'm loving so far about these, especially these smaller hooks, is the handle. Now, my fingers, <laughs> they do start to bug me. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see, I've got this little turn going to my finger. Um, I crochet a lot. And so that swells, I get these knuckles that swell up really bad and I get wrist pain really bad. So for me, I absolutely love this because in the smaller size for sure, because that's the only one I've actually worked with so far, but in the smaller size hook, the advantages of that is I was able to do a whole washcloth and I, I had no pain, not to say that I normally have pain pain, but I can feel it when I'm working with smaller hooks and I could probably only knock out, you know, one washcloth and need to take a break. However, with these hooks, I was able to 
do it and start another washcloth and I still could have gone longer on working on that washcloth however I was sitting in line somewhere so I had to stop um but this is the Andromeda just gorgeous gorgeous colors and I'm pretty sure each one is different um sorry my my daughter is playing in the background I was working on beanies can you guys see my adding knitting machine and then my <laughs> my photo box for filming that's all my my crochet stuff back there um okay moving on to box number three because I do have four of them and I think that I might have to do a giveaway for my furls not these ones these ones are mine but I may have to give away furls because I do have to figure out a 10k giveaway so this is what the eight millimeter the end that I got this is one of the woods and I'll put it on the screen right here exactly which one I got um however it is just a beautiful beautiful hook it's very very smooth honestly it doesn't seem like it would be wood it's you know gorgeous I mean I like the darker colors which is why I went with this one um darker colored woods I absolutely absolutely love and I think that they're really gorgeous but this is just really really smooth super soft Again, I haven't gotten to actually work with these ones. I've only worked with my four millimeter, um, but I'm sure it's all the same, the ergonomics. So, and something that I, I noticed that kind of, I didn't get at first and bugged me a little bit, but now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably better. Um, but the letter is on the side and this is right here. So that's okay. But to me, I think that it should have been right here but nitpicky and either way they're gorgeous it doesn't have to have that for it to be totally perfect um so then since I had those two the only one left is going to be my 5.5 that I got oh gorgeous colors sorry this is the first time I looked at it um and this is the same as my four millimeter hook however obviously you know I'm gonna get my face out of here guys <laughs> Um, the hook side or the colors and the hooks are much different. Um, cause each one, you know, I'm pretty sure they're all like handmade. So yeah, guys, I need to try out my 5.5, but so far I'm in love with my hooks. I definitely will be going back to furls when they have a sale. Um, Besides yarn, I think I found a new addiction within the crochet, you know, world and crochet community. And that is going to be these hooks because they are absolutely gorgeous. They are beautiful, you guys. So these three are my resin hooks. I've got, what do I, the G and I, I have a K in, um, those are all my, my resin hooks. And then I've got my M, which is the wood. So would definitely be ordering from them again. Uh, we can, you know, I can do another video jumping over, actually showing you how it works up with the stitches. Because like I said, guys, I made a washcloth with the one and they just worked really, really great. And the colors are beautiful, beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm debating on if we're going to jump into the photo box. I think we're going to stop at this point because, and again, guys, this actually is not like sponsored video or anything from them. So I don't want you to think that I'm like trying to get you guys to buy their hooks. Definitely, I would say buy them. Like at least try one. Try one out because not only are they gorgeous and beautiful and, <laughs> you know, they work really great. They're supposed to help your hands. And again, like if you crochet a lot like I do, and I'm sure like a lot of you guys do, these are gonna save your hands and your fingers. Cause like I said, I've, I get, I get issues with my hands and it stinks because, you know, then you're down for a day or two if, if you go too far and, and crochet too much. But anyways, you guys, that is my little review on these hooks. I would definitely say check them out. I'm really, really happy that somebody suggested these to me because Again, they're going to be my go-to hooks. I really am hoping to get these guys in um, more sizes because, again, these are the same, um, same color. 
I guess you would say same line, just different sizes. And then I would love to get maybe, you know, a few more sizes in the Andromeda. And then I definitely want to check out their Odyssey hooks, but I've heard that they're a little bit heavier. Oh, and that's one thing I should mention is the weight of these, you guys, super, super lightweight. So again, that's another reason why they are going to save your hands. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and check out Furl's website. I'm going to put a, um, their website in the description box down below. And yeah, guys, I'm going to stop rambling. Anyways, thanks for joining me today. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys all next time. And I have to do a 10K giveaway. So make sure to tune in because you guys might be able to win some of these. Check it out. Bye, guys. I gotta like...